morning, Northway. It's October 23rd, 2013, and I'm Chloe Hopper. And I'm Annabelle Bowling. And, and wake, wake up, North Point, Point starts right now. In school news, North Point Elementary will be hosting a blood drive on 1025. Teachers and staff get ready for a cause. Play practice Lego League and girls on the run and basketball are all scheduled after school today. Let's take a look at today's weather. A taste of winter over the next 72 hours, including colder than normal temperatures and some wet conditions also. An isolated snowflake is not impossible, but there will be no accumulations. Substantial sunshine returns by the weekend. A weak disruptions and moving through the tri-state with some clouds and rain showers. A wet snowflake may mix in but will melt rapidly on the warm pavement. A dry shower is possible through the afternoon with a mix of clouds and sun. High temperatures struggle into the upper 40s. Now on to lunch. Lunch today will be chicken patty on bun, turkey and cheese sub, baked beans, tater tot sandwich trimmings, crispy carrot celery sticks, diced pears, tropical fruit salad, and 100% apple juice. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To start off headlines, we're talking about a violin that sold at auction. One of the most poignant memory recalled by some of the 900 survivors from the 885 feet long luxury liner Titanic that sank on April 15, 1912 was at the orchestra playing the hymn Nearer My God to Thee to try and calm the panicked passengers as they made their way to the lifeboats. Though none of the seven member band survived, what surprisingly did was a, was a violin that was being played with their leader, by their leader. Well as Hartley. Found strapped to his chest inside a leather luggage case that bore his initials WHH, it was even inscribed with a message from his fiancée to mark their engagement. While the, while the bidding purportedly started, started at more than $80, the, the uh, cautioners had the reality or reserved or minimum price of between 323000 to 484000 for a precious artifact. But even though it proved to be too low, as buyers frantically bid over the iconic piece over $500,000 within just a few minutes. At that price, most bidders dropped out and the 200 people that were present at the auction waited with the abated breath to see which of the two remaining telephone bidders would get the converted instrument. Ten minutes after it all began, the verdict was in the fateful band master's violin had been sold for an astonishing $1.45 million. Was surpassing the previous highest price of $350,000 paid for a piece memorably from that Titanic. And that's a wrap of today's headlines. On this day, 1864, the Yankees and Rebels clashed in a fight. Now, now at, at Restport. And now for our fun fact. Did you know that every time you lick a stamp, you're consuming one out of ten of a calorie? Get me some stamps. Why? I'm starting my new, my new exercise, stamp licking to the oldies. You've got problems. Have a great day, North Point. We'll see you Wednesday morning with some more great news. And remember, 
Western North Point. Keep your paws up. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. I feel nice. I should have been smiling.